Okay, hello everyone. Uh, thank you for coming to this workshop. My name is Omihito Matsushita from Kanazawa Technical College. I am very excited, excited to share this uh, moment with you all from different countries. I hope you enjoy the workshop and also I hope you take away some meaningful insight from this workshop. Right, today I will be your main lead and we also have a Robert to facilitate the workshop together. So if you have any question, you can ask me or Robert, All right? So today, this is what we're gonna do, three big things, just self interaction and just workshop for peer work activity. So after listening to all the fascinating you know, presentations, this, this is just a workshop. So I hope you just relax and enjoy just work together with your partner, okay? The workshop is designed for about 60 minutes. All right, after that, I wanna share some of the like, class and projects that I have done so far at KTC and KIT. Okay, first, let me introduce about myself a little bit more. So I started my career here at KTC in 2003 as English teacher. So, uh, so KT school, that like, we teach like this general English skills like grammar, reading, English for qualification tests as academic and English as a school subject. Uh, we also teach like current English and foreign affairs to learn more about social aspect. Right? And we also have a conversation classes by native speakers of English. And we have study abroad programs like one month program in America and one year program in New Zealand. So we have like one week school trip to Singapore for all the year four students. So before, and also we have some international programs it's like a student exchange program. So we have like students from Singapore Polytechnic, about 12 students come to Kanazawa for home stay for 10 days. So we have done these things that we use English as a communication tool here. And then as introduced, so I started teaching design method here, actually last year. And then I was thinking, or we were thinking what we can do to fill this gap. So we're thinking doing like social like program, that doing some school project, a student project in the social settings and in global context. And then I wanna use the design thinking to design the student learning experience. So this is actually what we are doing here for English education and using design to strengthen the CDIO approach. All right, so not me talking too much. So I wanna make pairs first for the workshop, okay? And then you guys gonna do self-introduction to your partner, all right? And then the pair will just work together for through, through the workshop today. So I don't mind pairing, you know, Japanese uh, people from different countries. If you're comfortable working with your colleagues, that's okay, use your native language. Or if you wanna work with someone you don't know, it may be a good chance to have some more connection. And then please, uh, if you don't have a paper and markers, yes, there are some extras here. So, so if you make a pair, can you guys like sit together? And then pair. So right now, but don't, 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 okay, please wait to talk to your partners. First, I want you to spend one minute to draw something that represents you, yourself. Like, you might draw something about your hobby or your favorite something, or anything like just things that you bring every day or. So just draw something about you for one minute. It doesn't matter if you're good or not, so just think something about yourself and draw it. One minute, okay? One minute, yes. Simple, just simple. Draw, draw. No text. 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 No
Okay, looks good. Okay, now let's introduce yourself <laughs> to your partner using the sketch. So you might want to tell us your name, where you're from, and then explain what you, why you draw this, what, who you are, okay? So please show your sketch to your partner. And then partner A, like partner A has one minute to uh, explain about yourself, and it will switch the role after one minute. So one person is introduce yourself for one minute. All right, and then I'll switch the role after one minute, okay? あの、1分間自分のこと説明、紹介してください。1分経ったら、え、交代します、役割を。Okay, thank you everyone, it's one minute. <laughs> now, I hope you guys get to know about your partner better. Yeah. Rather than just where you're from or who you are, no. about your partner's hobby, and things like that. Okay, now, uh, now we're not think about design. So, actually, when you drew something about yourself, did you really care? like how good you are, or how bad you are. So what does design mean to you? you know, when I ask this question to my students, they say, maybe using colors, making good shape, you know, or maybe good, uh, something, something like that, more like stylish things. But actually, we use design to solve much complex problems. And when it comes to design thinking, it gets us to think out of the box, All right? And this is Tim Brown from, uh, he's a CEO of IDEA, the design consulting company in America. So this is, that he actually proposed a design thinking about 2000, and he says that design thinking is a human-centered approach to innovation that draws from the designer's toolkit to integrate the needs of people, the possibilities of technology, and the requirement for the business success. And actually, the using designer toolkit and mindset is a key here. Like, I am not the designer, right? I'm just English teacher, and I'm not the engineer, right? But I still design something for my English lessons, or now I design student learning experiences. So design thinking can be used for anyone using designer's toolkit or method and their mindset. Okay, so instead of just telling you much about design thinking, just I wanna just immediately just have you jump right into the experience for yourself. So now uh, we're gonna do some mini design project for about next one hour. And I'd like to ask, actually I'd like to ask how many of you are familiar with design thinking? Have you heard about design thinking? Yeah. Not many, yeah, some, yes, yeah. It's good, all right. <laughs> all right, so anyway, no previous design experience just required here, right? We'll just go through the full design cycle and through this experience, I hope you will take away some of the basic principles of design thinking. And then today, there will be no wrong answers, okay? no penalty, no grading. All right, just enjoy yourself here, okay? Okay, so today your challenge <laughs> is to redesign the travel experience in Kanazawa for your partner, okay? And then we have only one hour and it, it's gonna be really rushed, but it's okay, all right? So I have a some worksheet for you to uh, Work. So this is the one set for each person. So please, yeah. 
どあすいませんありがとうございますあすいません今日はですねあの金沢にあのまあいろんな国あの遠方からも来られていただいているということでちょっと金沢でのまあ旅行体験をちょっとリデザインあのパートナーのためにデザインし直してもらえたらなということでちょっとテーマを設けましたでもしあの金沢に住まれててあのまあまあちょっと金沢もっていう方はあの、まあ、パートナーの方に言ってあの、まあ、旅行体験自体をちょっとこう変える何かをちょっと考えてもらいたいかなと思いますなので、まあ、あの金沢にも住まれててるので、まあ、最後に行った旅行に関して何かこうちょっと聞いてもらって。でそれを何かもっと違う旅行体験できるようにしてもらえたらいいかなと思います。Okay, so, so you have a worksheet. So the first one, first activity, the most important part of designing for someone is to gain empathy for that person. And one way to do this to have a good conversation, the interview. So now. Uh, we want you to have an interview,、uh, your partner, to understand what your partner is trying to achieve through traveling. So ask for some experiences. Maybe you might not have so much experience in Kanazawa, but maybe、uh, you know, just one aspect or two, three things that you can think about, just unique experience, or maybe some emotions or you know, expectations and challenges. And then just don't ask, what's your problem about traveling? All right? <laughs> just ask your partner to just tell some personal stories about traveling in Kanazawa. And then,、uh, if you have something about your traveling artifact, you might want to share that with your partner. All right? And also,、uh, here's another maybe、uh, tool that you might be able to use for today. For your interview guide, here's, this is a called a 5E user experience map. Uh, so, in the five stages, you might want to ask your partner to tell you about experience in each stage. But e n t i c e is before coming to Kanazawa. e n t e r is when you got to Kanazawa, maybe from station to somewhere, or from airport to somewhere. The engagement is when you are in Kanazawa, what you do, right? And exit when you leave Kanazawa. But you are still staying here, but maybe you can ask some expectation. Or Extend what you're going to do after the travel. Okay, so you're maybe designing something to improve your partner's travel experience, like maybe navigating, finding something, you know, buying, you know,、uh, connecting to your friends, family, or eating. So just you might want to focus on maybe one part. It depends on you because we have like, much time. So,、uh, okay, so. Okay, and then you can ask what kind of activities they do in Kanazawa. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. And ask why. Why did you do that? You know, just ask, okay, what do you do? And ask why a lot to get more information about your partner. Okay, what is the motivation or emotions that come s with that activity to find insights? Okay, anyway, let's try it. And we have two rounds of interviews. Okay, the first round, you have four minutes to interview your partner. So, partner A asks questions, partner B, and we switch role after four minutes. And we will have a second round of interview for three minutes. Okay, so four minutes, just partner A asks questions, and I will tell you when to switch the interview. Is that okay? I think. Okay. And please take a note. All right. All right, let's try it. Okay. <laughs> 